pair of new earthquakes is rattling nerves this morning in Oklahoma. Both are a greater than four magnitude and struck near Crescent, that's north of Oklahoma City. There are no reports, though, of damage. The first quake hit just hours after the release of a disturbing new government report. It shows seismic activity in parts of the country's midsection are now as dangerous as in California and Alaska. For the first time, government scientists are including man-made quakes on their earthquake hazard map. CBS News science and futurist contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York, and we're pleased to have him this morning. Good morning. Morning. So Oklahoma could be like California. That's right. Ground zero could be Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, Colorado. Seven million Americans could be affected by this report, which is a game changer. Human-induced man-made earthquakes. The number of earthquakes in the area has gone up by a factor of 100 from just a handful per year to a thousand just last year in Oklahoma alone. Why? So, what's, what's happening? Well, first of all, the good news. The good news is that we could all enjoy the, the falling oil prices. Oil is like less than $40 a barrel. That's a game changer in foreign affairs. But the bad news is the injection of wastewater, a byproduct of oil exploration, the injection of wastewater into the ground helps to lubricate the fault lines and expand them by overpressurizing them. And that, we think, is causing this sudden rash of small earthquakes, up to 5.6 in Oklahoma and elsewhere. What's the number for a really for an earthquake that you have to pay attention to? Well, according to FEMA, the government, um, if a 5.6 were to hit Dallas, Texas, the damage would be $9.5 billion. And so we're talking about a considerable amount of economic damage if it hits a large metropolitan area. So are you suggesting area. we stop this kind of oil exploration? Uh, no. Uh, there are measures that can be taken. For example, we can uh, perhaps do injection of wastewater away from known fault lines, away from populated areas. We can do more recycling of the wastewater. There are fixes that we can do, which would, of course, raise the price of oil a bit. But I think it's a small price to pay for safety. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Professor. Good to see you.